Hey awesome people, I'm finally gonna do a video about pennies being discontinued in Canada. I just can't figure out which route I should take. I could make a joke about how there were no pennies here in the first place, that they only reside on the set of the Big Bang Theory in the US. Yeah, and then I could use that as a segue to say that Jim Parsons, aka Sheldon, has been gay and in a relationship for 10 years. He only now felt like sharing that detail about his personal life. Now I just have to think of a joke relating physics and homosexuality. It has to be funny, but not too insensitive so people don't think I'm homophobic. But I don't know much about physics. Good thing Google exists. Physics has to do with the motion of space-time along with relationships concepts such as energy and force. Come on, I know there's a joke in there somewhere. Wait a second. Maybe instead of Sheldon becoming a theoretical physicist, he should have just became a biologist. Wait, that has nothing to do with homosexuality. Just like Lamb. Also, that joke's way too cheesy. Not even the good cheese like mozzarella or Swiss, but the bad cheese like grubby Dorito-covered fingers trying to grab my PS3 controller. You know what? I'm just gonna talk and see where my face takes me. Okay, here I go. Wish me luck. If you don't wish me luck, this video is gonna be really awkward, in which case I feel sorry for you. Hey, awesome people. You hear that pennies are being discontinued in the land of bagged milk? That flashback was from a long time ago. Let's see if we can go back even further. Oh, look, it's me as a baby. When I finally hatched, the doctor said I was even more yoky than my brother. Isn't that right, brother? I'm pretty sure I was adopted. Wait, what was I talking about again? The extinction of pennies. This is arm-raisingly ridiculous. Over the years, I've become infatuated with pennies. I love the smell. I love the look. I mean, just look how hot the chick on the back of it is. You have really shaky hands. Stop it. At least I'm wearing pants. They'll never find out. Besides, without pennies, what will I have to fill my socks with? My stupid feet? I feel ridiculous and my feet smell like copper and minimum value. See? Without pennies, what kind of currency will I pay exclusively in to annoy everybody behind me in line? Without pennies, what kind of coins will I put in donation boxes trying to impress people while still maintaining my five? Finances. Without pennies, what would I be talking about right now? If I wasn't talking about pennies right now, you'd probably be doing something else. You might have gotten in a skydiving accident. Who do we have to thank for your safety? Pennies. And the government wants to discontinue them. Who do they think they are? Putting you in danger like that. I mean, I would probably still have made a video. What would I have talked about, though? The weather? Actually, that's not a bad idea. And now it's time for the weather section. The section where I look out of my window and tell you what to wear. Uh, it's sunny. Wear a t-shirt. Good thing you have me to tell you the weather. Who else would do it? Your window? Oh, no. Where was I again? Oh, wait. Yeah, pennies. So I'm glad they're getting rid of pennies. I mean, the only thing they're good for is making your trash heavier. So when you take your trash to the curb, your neighbors are impressed by how much trash you have. The government says it costs $11 million to supply pennies to the economy. Wait a second. The government makes our money? Why the hell is our country in debt when we can just make money and use that money to pay off our debt? God, politicians are just so ignorant. They should just let me be president of Canada. Actually, as a matter of fact, this has been talked about a lot on YouTube. And every penny I see, I'm gonna round it up and save them all. I mean, soon they'll actually be coins of value. Maybe my brother can help me, right, brother? Oh, he's all extinct and stuff, just like pennies. Why does everything I love go extinct? Until next time. See you later.